Today we are continuing our alphabet dating challenge series, whatever you want to call it. We're on a date. <laughs> <laughs> and today is our F date. We're starting out at a place called Faust Park, which I just learned on the way here. This is Mark's first time here, which I kind of can't believe because it's a pretty popular park in the St. Louis area. I go to the ballpark more than I go to the actual parks. Yeah. <laughs> but like this is where the butterfly house is and they have a carousel, a really nice playground for kids. And they have all these really cool like historic buildings. We'll be showing you some of these as we're walking around and exploring. All of these buildings are like why this is one of my favorite parks though, because I just think it's really neat. Now that I know what's here, it's actually pretty interesting, I think. Show them what else we brought for our F date. Frisbee! <laughs> so we're gonna play some Frisbee at Faust Park and then we have- a Have fun! And have a really fun time doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. We're also gonna go to a couple other places in St. Louis though after this, so stay tuned. really want to look in these windows but I'm also kind of like scared that somebody's gonna be looking back at me <laughs> I don't know I think you can go in this house maybe for tours sometimes it's called the Davis house I got that same shirt <laughs> your britches sag like that honey I know I got the same belt <laughs> Dog mill butter churn. Please keep off. And the dog walks on there and churns the butter. Are you joking? Is that really what they did? No, honey, that's not what they did. This is what it says. Oh. <laughs> yes, that's what it's for. It's so the dog like would walk on that and it would churn the butter. Yeah. What the heck? This place is so neat. I wish that there were more signs though that told you like what all these buildings were and who lived here. Oh my God, squirrels scared me. <laughs> to be fair, I probably scared them. Trying to be a creep and look inside again. <laughs> the floor in that one's cool. This is the schoolhouse, and then they are building an African American schoolhouse right next door. So you can definitely see like the size comparison. I think we've seen all of the historic buildings that there are to see. So now we're gonna go, I guess. Oh, we should walk over by the butterfly house though first and see the fountain. There's a fountain, fountain over there. Yeah, it's really pretty over there. We're not gonna go in the butterfly house today, but that it is, doesn't begin with F. Yeah, it doesn't go. They have a carousel at Faust Park. It doesn't start with an F, but I still really want to ride it. <laughs> I think it does cost a few bucks, but we might go check that out. It's happening, we're buying tickets. <laughs> Your ticket, ma'am. <laughs> so excited. I think we're the only adults standing in line. <laughs> Without children. have kids. Without children. I brought my child with me. So. <laughs> One that goes up and down for sure. How about these two right here? You do the dark brown one. You want that one? Yeah, high up there. Can you get up there, honey? <laughs> Let's see. It's sinking when I get on there. <laughs> Lowers it down a little. <laughs> I'm holding it. Show them how you get up on that pole, honey. I came up on the wrong side. I'm the wrong side. <laughs> on the pole, honey. <laughs> now I get what you were saying. Two, three, giddy up! Yeah. Let's go! <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't get bucked off this horse like she does her other Honey! <laughs> we 
don't need to talk about that. So much fun. <laughs> That was the funnest $4 ride I ever had. Oh, it was $4. <laughs> Wait till it comes to a complete stop. They already stopped. Whoa. Whoa. I feel like that was just a little bit <laughs> slow. One <laughs> way. Is that too fast for you, honey? Perfect. I asked her when she told me, like before we got horses, and she told me she rode horses before I asked her if this is what she was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this would have been a good option for our B date, the butterfly house. Mark's never been here either. We made it over by the fountain in the butterfly house. I think we've seen pretty much the majority there is to see at Faust Park. The only thing left to do now is frisbee time. Frisbee toss. You ready to throw a frisbee at each other? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be like dodgeball frisbee. I think we should move away from the water though. <laughs> this lady over here at the picnic table has brought her birds with her to the park. She's sitting there reading the book with her birds. I think this area here looks like a good frisbee playing location. I think the main thing to remember here is trying to hurt yourself. Don't die. <laughs> that was easy. Oh god. <laughs> this is easy. Nice. Oh, dang it. You know how hard that is to catch when you're looking through the camera? You're trying to catch it. It's harder than it looks. What did you think of Faust Park, honey? Pretty impressed. I never knew all that stuff was there. It was pretty cool. All the old buildings and that crazy carousel ride we took. <laughs> it's so it was... fun. <laughs> it was fun. Now I'm actually really hungry. It's only 4.30, but hopefully that means that we're gonna beat the crowds because the next place we go to, I think is a pretty popular place here in St. Louis for food. Food. Food and floats. We'll give you a hint. bottomless root beer in a frosted mug with no ice. So good. Frosted mug. We know, honey, we know. <laughs> They're freaking hot. A Fitz's <laughs> St. Louis Slinger. It's got fries and cheese and chili. The burger uh, on top. Burger and egg on top of that. Fried egg. Fried egg. It's a very popular dish in St. Louis, the slinger. It looks freaking delicious. But he doesn't have silverware, so. I'm gonna eat with my hands. <laughs> I just got something called their bottler's burger with some fries, and then it comes with this sauce called the kitchen sauce. It looks really good. How is it? Look. This burger was really, really good, but I'm gonna save the rest of it for later so that I can have room for a float. They have so many different flavors. It looks amazing. It's gonna be hard to choose which one. This is called Mount Everest. <laughs> this is called Cookie Monster. Root beer and then cookie dough flavored ice cream topped with whipped cream and Oreo cookie pieces. Mark's is root beer with chocolate and vanilla ice cream and then chocolate and caramel on top. Mom stuff. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> that root 
Crispin. <laughs> it's really hard to figure out how to eat this thing. <laughs> take a bite of ice cream and then take a drink of your or root beer. <laughs> oh, they Uh-huh. Mine started spewing out the top. <laughs> Mine's sinking. Mark's is sinking. I can't eat the sides, it's falling down in there. <laughs> we can't eat them fast enough. I think we both have two new words for you after our dinner at Fitz's. One is full and two is fat. <laughs> That's how we're both feeling right now. <laughs> but it was really good food. I loved the burger. I just didn't eat all of it because I wanted to save room for the ice cream. I didn't save near enough room for the amount of ice cream that they give you with those Ruger floats. And they had so many different flavors to choose from. It was just, yeah, that was definitely the highlight. Save room for dessert if you go to Fitz's. <laughs> We're at Westport Plaza for our last stop of the night at the Funny Bone. Mark wants me to tell you that they have more flowers. You happy Lots now? Lots of flowers at the Funny Bone. <laughs> Are you happy now, honey? <laughs> I've always thought that Westport is a really neat little area. There's a lot of places that have closed, but it's still really pretty, especially at nighttime. We couldn't record any of the footage during the actual comedy shows, but all three of the comedians that we saw at the Funny Bone were hilarious, and we never properly ended this video because after our show at the Funny Bone, we heard that there was karaoke next door, and I am a sucker for a good karaoke bar, so we ended up ending our night there. I'll spare you from having to hear me sing. It's not great, I promise, but it's just really fun <laughs> to do. Um, anyway, so that's going to be the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Leave us your G date ideas in the description box down below and we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.